Okay, so I just went to the pin store at Epcot and I got these two adorable limited edition frozen pins. The line was super, super long, but I managed to get them before my dolphin's reservation and I am very grateful. Now I do have a super long time before my dolphin's reservation, so I'm probably just gonna wander a bit and go into mouse gear. I'll probably buy something else. <laughs> Fingers crossed I don't, because I am running out of money. They've got some beautiful Christmas Dooney bags here. They've just gotten these really cute magnet sets. I love the Frozen one, and there's a Lion King and an Aladdin. I really, really love these big feet ones. Eeyore's so cute, and Pooh Bear. Fun fact, because I actually didn't know this, you don't need a park ticket to go and swim with the dolphins, because the check-in is actually outside of the park. So that's where I'm headed now, outside the park, to check in at Guest Relations. Here we are at Guest Relations. As you can see, right next to Guest Relations, it tells you exactly where the tour will be. There's a clear sign. I'm just chilling right now, waiting to start dolphins. I didn't really want to get on a ride and then be rushing and then miss it, so I'm just waiting. Shouldn't be long. They just started to check everyone in, and we got this lanyard with our names on it. Very cute. I'll be keeping this forever. <laughs> dolphins I couldn't take any video backstage but it was so so amazing they taught us all about the dolphins and then we actually got to touch the dolphins and get an amazing picture they're so cute I think my favorite is Calvin he was the cutest thing ever oh wow I also got this really cool towel to remember the experience by and I get a photo as well which I won't have for another 24 hours but I'm still gonna get it and I'll show you the towel once I get back to the hotel Anyway, now I have a couple of fast passes at Epcot, then I think I'm going to migrate to Animal Kingdom to do a few things there. Because I haven't eaten yet today, my first stop is to have lunch, and I'm going to get the salmon from Active Eats. Looks really, really good. Okay, so I just got my salmon. It looks pretty delicious. I can't wait to try this out. Okay, just cutting so we can see the inside. Looks pretty good, looks pretty good. Okay, trying it out now. Hopefully it's good. And dip it in some of the avocado. Mm. Really nice, not too fishy, as mum would say. Really, really nice, and it pairs really well with the avocado. I'm not a massive avocado person, and I like it, so must be good. As you can see, I demolished that, and I don't normally demolish salads like that, so it was really good. Okay, so I've still got an hour till my first fast pass, so I've decided I'm going to try to meet Joy and Sadness at Character Spot, because I've never met them before. Should be good, and then by the time that's over, hopefully I'll be ready for my 2 o'clock soaring fast pass. Look at the line for Joy and Sadness has all the memories. Love it. Joy was a little at that time, so I might need to come back so I can meet Joy as well. While I'm waiting for my fast pass, I'm going to do the Nemo ride just because I'm here. Just in my clamshell. Chilling. The private clamshell. Yay! I love games. Ooh, I'm thinking of something pink and bouncy that looks like a balloon. A lot of the stuff they taught us in the Dolphins in-depth experience. Lots of good information there. There's a little clownfish. So I just swam with dolphins and now I'm seeing dolphins and I want to buy one. It may happen. Now I am officially heading to the land and hopefully I can use my fast pass. I'm like five minutes early but you can get in if you arrive five minutes early so it should be fine. There's soaring as you walk down. Here we are. Sorry. Just finished up at Soaring. I'm really glad they rethemed it to Soaring Around the World because I think that really makes it really fun. I think it's a great ride. The only downside is you can see people's feet depending on where you're sitting. Anyway, I think I'm going to try a single ride at the test track before my Mission Space Fast Pass. We'll see how that goes. Here 
we are at test track again. Single rider wait time is five minutes right now, so I'm going on immediately. Just did test track. I've got a little while before my mission space fast pass, so I think I might try to ride imagination again because it's an amazing ride. And I have a fast pass for that one later, but I think I'll just try to do standby to get it done because I really want to get to Animal Kingdom. I want to see Nemo. Here we are. Back at iMadge for another round of fun! I forgot to tell you guys that if you exit imagination, there's a few activities you can do in the image work. So you can move your arms and figment plays music. And I think you can design your own figment over there. There's another touch exhibition. That's really cool. I enjoyed watching that as I went out of the ride. In case anybody is interested, this is actually the entrance to where the people that work the Imagination ride walk in. This is where I used to go to work every day. Good times. Imagination obviously was the best yet again. Anyway, I'm going to Mission Space and this will be my last ride before I head over to Animal Kingdom. Here we are, Mission Space, last ride at Epcot for today. Now as you enter, they hand you these cards with all these scary warnings to make sure you know what you're getting yourself in for. Ask a uniform crew warnings. member for directions to the green team, less intense training area. So we'll have to put you into hypersleep. Hypersleep activated. Don't worry, it'll only seem like a second or two to you. I'll give you a wake up call when you get to Mars. Officially heading over to Animal Kingdom now. I'm hoping to meet Chippendale in their dinosaur outfits and see Nemo. They'll probably only be able to do one, so we'll see what happens. 